while traveling in between you get to shorten the prayer and even combine them as well last hadith in today's episode and Jabir radiallahu hadith number 1439 and in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal man qala subhanallahi wa bihamdihi ghurisat lahu nakhlatun fil jannah the hadith is collected by Imam Tirmidhi do you guys remember the hadith which was studied first in today's episode سبق المفردون those who are distinguished those who are exceptional have gone ahead have beat everybody else or reward why? because they have taken the greatest advantage of time look what the hadith here says whoever says سبحان الله وبحمده once Allah will plant a palm tree for him in paradise. Whoever says, Allah is free from any imperfection and praise be to him, a palm tree will be planted for him in paradise. So let's make the best conclusion of today's episode. If I may ask my brothers, my assistant uh, team in the control room to show a timer, a stopwatch on the screen, and I'm going to say, in a minute or less, Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Let's see how many times can we say Subhanallah wa bihamdi in a minute? How many seconds will it take to say Subhanallah wa bihamdi once? Ready? Bismillah. Let's go. Three, two, one. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. 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 This is ten times in twelve seconds. We can pause the timer now. So, that, does it mean that if we say Subhanallah wa bihamdi fifty times, it would take one minute? Yes. And if I want to slow down, I'm going to say it 40 times in one minute. How is that? Perfect. So in less than one minute, you would have at least 40 day palm trees planted for you in Al Jannah. How many day palm trees will be planted for you when you spend six hours playing games, watching TV? or mesmerize before the final tournament? None. None. So if you say Subhanallah wa bihamdi, it takes approximately one second. For me, make it two, if you're really slow. Two. So 30 times in one minute. In one hour, how many times would you say it? Many times. Many times. Subhanallah. You're talking about hundreds of times, 900 times or so. So if this is the case, and in one minute, I can get the much property, because when a dead palm tree is planted, then its property is mine. I possess it. And then, you know, nowadays, there are many commercials, many ads. I'm not sure. Some of them are fake. Some of them are scams. Some of them are true. If you have $100,000, $115,000, you will get a passport by investing $115,000 US dollar in any of these European countries. They have some countries, Latvia, Vita, uh, you know, uh, Greece, and so on. So you get a European country with which you'll be able to travel to 28 European countries and work in any form and live in any form without any restrictions. How much you have to pay? The minimum, the minimum is 115,000. To go where? When you go to any of these countries, they're not going to spoon feed you. They're not going to give you a suitcase full of cash and say, thank you for coming to our country. You have to work hard. And you have to invest that money and you may prosper, you may lose it. You may get the passport, you may not. But I'm sitting here. And I say, Subhanallah wa hamdi, Subhanallah wa hamdi, Subhanallah wa hamdi. The word which Allah loves so much. And in one minute, I get 30, 40, or 50 palm trees planted for me in Al Jannah. 
Oh, that's why the Prophet ﷺ said in the beginning, سَبَقَ الْمُفَرِّدُونَ So they know what they're doing and that's why they are very distinguished. They're very smart. They're very exceptional. While people are wasting their time, those people are fully aware of the value of time and they take advantage of it and they make the best use out of it. May Allah the Almighty make us among them. So brothers and sisters, I believe in the next episode.